We want to turn now to uh, baby boomers who make up an overwhelming majority of Congress, yet they account for only a fifth of the U.S. Now a new generation of politicians is poised to shake things up in Washington. Our ABC congressional correspondent Rachel Scott has more. A new era of politics is taking shape. Tell me what democracy looks like! Just tell them the truth. Tell them how it is. Well, I have a special guest with me today. From the White House, tapping pop star Olivia Rodrigo on COVID-19 vaccinations. Encouraging all communities to get vaccinated. To briefing TikTok influencers, getting the word out on Russia's war against Ukraine. Russian missiles have forced the residents of the Ukrainian capital to seek shelter in bunkers. And youth climate activists testifying to Congress. We want productive discussions, realistic answers, and sound policies now looking to make their mark and represent their own generation in the nation's capital. In New Hampshire's first district, Republican candidate Caroline Levitt wants to make history as the youngest member of Congress. She turns 25 just weeks before the primary. The former aide to President Donald Trump and Congresswoman Elise Stefanik is running in a crowded GOP primary. Young voters in this country overwhelmingly vote Democrat. Mm -hmm. So what does your party need to do to change that? My generation in particular lacks young conservative voices. So we need to encourage young conservatives when they come along. And we also have to do a much better job with messaging. 1,300 miles away from the New Hampshire snows in the Sunshine State's 10th Congressional District, we find 25-year-old Maxwell Frost vying to represent Florida in our nation's capital. A former ACLU organizer and March for Our Lives activist, Frost would also become the first congressional member of Generation Z if elected. What was behind the decision to run? I need to run for Congress, not just for myself, but for the issues that young people are being affected by these days. We live in a different world, um, different economy, different technology, and so we need that perspective. Currently, baby boomers make up nearly 60 percent of Congress. They account for 21% of all Americans. Two thirds of congressional members are over the age of 55. Just 7% of House Democrats are under 40. While Levin and Frost detail the need for a congressional facelift, both candidates sticking to familiar talking points. Levitt says she believes transgender women should not be able to compete alongside other girls, rejects the notion of a climate crisis amid global warming, and falsely believes former President Donald Trump won the 2020 election. Frost hopes to be a champion against gun violence if elected, expand Medicare and eliminate insurance co-pays, deductibles and premiums, and supports Congressional Democrats' Green New Deal to curb the effects of climate disasters. As the 2022 midterm elections inch closer, Levitt and Frost not letting any criticism stand in their way of making history for themselves and their generation. There has never been a more urgent time to shake up Washington. There has never been a more urgent time to send people there who have fresh eyes, fresh ideas. I was talking actually with a lady, I think it was a few weeks ago, who said, how old do you have to be to run for Congress? And I said, it says 25 years old in the Constitution. And then she said, well, it sounds like you're just on time. <laughs> and a huge thanks to our Rachel Scott for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.